Hello, Faith Church. It's Wednesday, August 13, and uh, it's good to be back. I was away on uh, traveling around a bit with my family for the past three weeks, and uh, it feels like it's been a couple of months because uh, it just felt good to see some new locations and uh, connect with some family members, uh, even though it looked a lot different than it had in past summers. It was uh, it was wonderful to be able to see some different scenery. I hope that others have been able to find some ways to uh, connect with with God, with family, with others this summer uh, in creative ways uh, as you are able. Um, but stay safe. Continue to um, look for ways to connect with, with one another during this time. Uh, I'm standing in the youth room here, which is finally, after several months, been cleaned up and is ready to have people in it. And of course, we have to wait even longer. But it's a reminder to me uh, in the emptiness of it that uh, how, how good it will be to someday be together. Now we're in the process of realizing we're going into a new season, a new school year. What is youth ministry going to look like? What is ministry uh as a whole going to look like for our congregation. Um, and we're really starting to hear from people um, that that people are getting anxious to be together. There's going to be some opportunities for some in-person worship outdoors. Uh, those who are leading worship will be in the same place uh, starting a week from Sunday um, with uh, within some certain guidelines. Um, one, of, one of the things that, that I think is exciting as I talk to young people and their families is they really enjoyed one thing we did this summer, which was some Bible studies in person in a park uh, in large circles so that people could uh, maintain appropriate distance, but that they've really enjoyed digging into God's word. And I'm, and I'm hoping that this summer can really be an opportunity to uh, end this time in this fall as we continue having to uh, abide by the rules of, of uh, the quarantine, that we can dig into God's word and be excited about it. The, the chapter in Acts that we read today from Paul, you know, as we know, Paul wrote many letters while he was in quarantine uh, because he had to, but he really preferred to be with people face to face. And in the 17th chapter of Acts, Paul travels, travels to Thessalonica and to Berea and to Athens, and just part of this long journey of, of wanting to see people face to face, face and, and tell people uh, who Jesus was. But to many, this seemed like a foreign concept. It seemed like he was preaching about a foreign God, uh, and he had to remind them that, no, this, is, this isn't a foreign God at all. This is, this is the God who made all that we see and made you and I and, and loves us uh, very personally in, in a way that, that the foreign gods that they were worshiping never could because they were made with human hands. In Berea in particular, the people there, it says, uh, were examining the scriptures every day with, with great eagerness. Uh, I really pray that this, this time would be a, a renewal for our church in a, in a sense of, of finding some good personal time with those that we are nearby and in person with to examine the scriptures, to find the wisdom that God has within that together uh, in new ways. This next, uh, I'm going to have an opportunity to preach uh, for a couple weeks, and I really hope to key in on that a little bit of, of what, it, what it looks like to examine the scriptures, to be excited about God's word together. Um, and so I hope you'll join me on that uh, sh short two-week journey of, of taking a look at that, um, and that it will inspire all of us to continue to, uh, to, to be, a, be in God's word and realize that it's not just words on a page, but really is God's living word, God's uh, letter to us, and his voice every day. Uh, I, I'm prayerful for you all, and I want to offer a prayer just for our church family as I, as I close off and uh, as we continue to, uh, to be God's people wherever we are. Uh, let's pray. God, thank you for this time together. Uh, we thank you for just a few minutes to remember that we are God's people to remember the wisdom that you have in your word. Uh, help us to seek that out. Help us to do it because we find joy in hearing your voice. Uh, we thank you for continuing to communicate with us, even at times when, uh, when perhaps we are finding ways to, uh, to listen to other voices. 
Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week.